What is up there ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Brian Johnson's TV channel. Today you got some great news. My gaming computer came in. Now I'm redoing this video because the last video that I posted on my YouTube channel about me showing this off was actually, uh, been, yeah, I had to redo it because it didn't meet my quality. So let's do this more professionally. Anyways, this is my severe build uh, that Peter Smith Systems did. I'll leave their links and all the statistics down below of what my computer is running. There are going to be a couple upgrades including RAM. I'm about to get the RAM upgraded because it's at 16 GB. About to upgrade it to 32 by getting two more 8 sticks to really upgrade my computer. But anyways, if you take a look inside, it's got the beautiful red LEDs inside the computer. Of course, you can see the big old massive fan that's on the, the eye processor. Of course, you got the graphics card which you can't really see but the driver cards right there. Then you got the two RAM sticks that are inside over here towards the far right or far left or wherever direction it is. But anyways this is a beast computer. Then you got a fan right here in the back. And then you got two fans in the front and there's probably more fans somewhere else hidden. Of course you got the PCU fan and you got the graphic cards fans. And then you got the uh, actual I think the battery or the power comes with the fan too. Anyways, if you come up here and look at the top, you can see the beautiful, simple jacks. You got the reset button, which is actually pretty cool. Then you got the microphone, headphone, power, two USBs, uh, and, and they're the good kinds. They're the, I think they're the 3.0s. I think the blue means 3.0s. Not sure. Then you got the fan that adjusts the case, uh, adjusts fans on the case, which uh, I'm going to use. I'm keeping mine at the middle, but I can control it to higher and lower. And I'm always going to keep it at the middle, no matter what. Uh, because the eye processor and the graphics card should do a pretty good job of handling everything else on their own. Because this is just moving airflow towards the back. And if we come here, or moving airflow to the back, moving airflow to the system. And if we come back over here, we got some more ports right there. As you can see, you got the uh, video, the DVI ports and all that stuff but the main thing I really like is as you can tell one of my USB ports are and those are the standard ones you got the SS10 USB port then you got the four more 3.0 ports then down here you got the uh, this is this right here is what a lot of companies are starting to do with their headphones that's for your headphones right there I don't know what it's called because I can't see it. Then you get your sound, then you get your other sound, then you get another microphone, and then of course the simple components. And then down here we have the antenna for the Wi-Fi. This is the where I could get the Wi-Fi instead, or I can hook it up directly through. Uh, I think I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I can hook it up through Ethernet. If I wanted to, but you got the antenna, then you got the HDMI, which is currently being used. I don't know what the other port is. <laughs> but then, of course, this is one amazing build. And that's not the only thing this company actually does. They put your computer through a severe test. Now, when it comes, it's going to come in a big old box. And another big old box. Well, mine, my computer needs to be dusted off a little. I had it for a couple days and I've been testing it. So if we come down here, they give you this box right here. Uh, there was something on this box right here, but I put it inside the box because my cat loved to play with the piece of paper that was on the outside of the box. This is everything else, like and anything that was extra wise. So they give you the extra cables that came with the power supplies or with the build itself. Uh, just in case you ever decide to do future upgrades, you have all the cables with you. And they're not, you know, saying, oh, well, you can't upgrade because you don't have the cables. They actually do give you everything back that you need. Uh, right here we have the piece of paper that tells us uh, that this is what this is. And then here, I'll show you that. I'll tell you what that is in a minute. And here, if we take a look, you can see they give you all the extra parts. Um, of course, that was for the antenna deal. So I already got that hooked up. These are extra parts again and a book to be able to know how to work everything and whatnot. Uh, again, they'll have everything pretty much built for you. Anything that's extra is just in case you want to do future upgrades. Um, I recommend you just sending your computer into them and let them do it. If it's something big, if it's something simple like RAM, then you know you can do it yourself. But if it's something uh, that's going to be a little bit more difficult when it comes towards like 
upgrading your whole graphics card let them do that uh, you can call them again everything will be down at the bottom this right here shows you how to take it out of the box surprisingly I actually did read this instruction uh, it tells you how to take it out of the box so basically you open up the top you have two people help you one person holds the bottom slowly flip it and put it down real easily slide it up take off one styrofoam before you take off the second styrofoam make sure that you have the plastic somewhat revealed then take uh, then flip it again where it's at this angle where it's sitting up, down take off the top and then pull off the uh, the plastic and then make sure you if you do get plexiglass on your on your computer or a window that's what I like to call it on your computer like mine did uh, make sure you rip off the uh, this well, the protection make sure you rip off a little screen protection that's on it and even open up the computer and you could pull off from the inside too if you want uh, which I did now if we come over towards this book I'm not going to show you everything that's in this book uh, because I don't want to accidentally reveal some people's names and me getting in trouble but in this book they give you everything so we're going to mainly go towards the back of the book uh explains you to explains everything to you but here in the back they actually give you everything that you need to be able to ditch the computer back up and running if something ever did happen so i think that's badass you have the recovery usb they do give you usb which is pretty cool and then they give you all the cds that they use so for instance i used windows 10 so i have a windows 10 cd then you have everything else uh, far wise that you use so whatever they put in there they give to you and then they explain to you all the instructions how your computer did what your computer does how your how everything went so if we come to this page this was the cooling test on my computer which I thought was really amazing uh, this is on idle and this is overloaded uh, I think it's pretty cool how they test everything they show you all the builds and whatnot and whatnot uh, those are all the ports a little bit more better. <laughs> I really do love this computer. I tested it on uh, the tested on a bunch of games, and they did too. Well, not games. I, I think they used the software to test it. But anyways, this is the proof. It shows you how well the computer did, and it explains down here what did it do, how did it do, and uh, as you can tell right there which I think is pretty cool and you can watch them actually work on computer live um, now I went on there time to time watching them build live which is pretty cool uh, it's, they basically update their website every time something gets added in and then it starts getting slower uh, depending on if they're waiting for parts or not uh, the one thing I gotta tell you the filters are takeable, takeable out there's a filter on the bottom of this build right down here and what you do is if you come towards the back there's this weird little notch, y'all can't see it, but it's right here. Basically what you do is you pull that down and you can slide out the filter. As you can see, that's the filter. Uh, you'd be able to clean it. And I clean mine uh, every two weeks like I usually do. And I usually clean this too, so I, I need to get more spray air. But uh, I think you can also take this apart and just clean it too. But a can of spray air should do it. Um, because these fans will pretty much boil it all out eventually but that's pretty much it as far as the build oh yeah another thing uh, like I said I made a video on this already um, but I had to delete it when you do get this computer guys be real careful when you get a computer for them especially if you spend a lot of money onto it but make sure you do me a huge favor all to my fans out there that do go to their website and do get computer by them as soon as it comes to you play around with it Give them a call and thank them because these guys, I, you know, again, thank you to all the people in the Peter Smith Systems company for doing this computer for me. Y'all did an amazing job because it takes a lot of work what they do and they're taking their time out to help you, you know, when they could be doing something else better, but they're there to help you and that's what they're going to do, you know, like going to the website. Uh, figure out what type of build you want you can call them their hours everything will be down below their hours and all that stuff will be down there too check them out uh, if you have any questions don't be afraid to give them a call I do especially for uh, when I was getting my computer build I definitely gave them a call quite a lot uh, 
But uh, that's about it for this video, guys. If you haven't yet, please make sure you click that like button. And also make sure you click that subscribe button for more awesome videos. Now I'm going to turn off all the lights real fast for you can actually see what the LEDs look like. Oh, and there goes the... <laughs> And there goes my computer right now. It's on the Halloween theme because Halloween's almost here. So, we'll be right back. Let me show you what the computer looks like with the lights off. Now, guys, this is with the lights off. So, you can see on the camera it looks pink, but believe me, they are red. <laughs> they are red. And if we come over towards the side, you can actually see the awesome, the cool the glow of whatnot of the computer. Thank y'all guys for so much for watching. Make sure you click that like, like button if you really like the video. Make sure you also click the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you again for everybody that built my computer from Pewter Smith Systems. You did the most amazing job. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.